Hey guys, Jarrell here, Grey Wolf TV, back with another music reaction for you, and it is time we did some more K-pop. I did Blackpink last week with their comeback of How You Like That, and I absolutely love that track. But we have another new one. No, it's not Blackpink. This has been out about a week, dropped last week, uh, I think on the 7th of July. Red Velvet, I've got a new one out. But it's not all of them. It's just Irene and Sogi. So I'm looking forward to this because this is probably going to be something completely different. And in effect, this is a comeback of theirs. It, uh, I think the last one I did of theirs was Psycho and I really, really enjoyed that track. It's on my K-pop playlist, on my phone and in the car. So I know the damn thing backwards by now. This one is called Monster. I've got it ready, paused here. And... The both look as though they're both in black and it did look quite similar. I'm going to be hard distinguishing between the two of them here. Anyway, I want to go and sample this because I think Red Velvet are way, way underrated. Their harmonization and their, vocal, their vocals, their choreography and their videos are top notch. I'm expecting no less. Oh, I'm going to be disappointed. Anyway, let's go and check it out. This is Irene Usogi, Monster. Oh, I like that. What? Oh my god, the gorgeous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute, what? I'll crack for a joint in my body and come close to your bed. And then she said, I will horribly steal your heart and dominate you. Damn, these lyrics are harsh. These are, these are quite dark lyrics and I love the visuals already. I got a quick snippet of the stained glass in the background. That looks, it's like a dark scene, but they've lit it from the back. It looks gorgeous. Anyway, let's just take it back a little bit. That bass! Damn! Got that. Those visuals. What's going on? What, 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 what? What's going on here? This, this is looking sexual. I don't know. Or is that just me? Damn. They look really good in all black. What are you doing to me? <sighs> oh my God, this face. Wait, wait just a minute, what just happened? What was that sound? I don't even know what would make that sound. Is it an instrument or is it like an overlay of a voice in it? And it, I don't know, distorted some way, but that... I've never heard anything like that. That sounds really weird, but really catchy. Damn, I've got to take that back. I've got to take that back. I was, the bass is insane. Those 808s are gorgeous. It's really harsh. I mean, just, just look at that for visuals. Do you see what I mean? The outfits are gorgeous. The sets are gorgeous. The song is fire the bass is just what i love let's 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 just carry on because I'm, I'm getting hot and bothered already oh yes oh yeah
I swear to God, she just cocked a Glock. Well, <laughs> I know probably other reactions have probably said this exact same thing, but why do women look so sexy with a gun? What is that? What is that? I love that. But what's going on with the bee? That's so cool. The choreography's on point. I'm a little monster. That. Oh my god. Killing me. Killing me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> what? Brilliant overlay and visual and transition into it, but I'm getting quite scared now. What's going on? All right, okay. Let, let's just just stop for a minute while we're here and appreciate what is going on here. The base, the subject matter. I'm reading the lyrics, and this is. She's saying she's got two sides to her in one body, and there's like a light and a dark. Or like a, a dark and a shadow, and she wants to dominate you. She wants she wants that side to come out, or at least that's the way I'm interpreting it. The transitions are gorgeous. The set pieces are gorgeous. The ah, uh, this is good. This is real good. And that I don't know what the sound is. Please, if someone knows how they've made that sound on the chorus, I need to know because it fits perfectly. And I don't know what the sound is. I've never heard anything like it. But the beat keeps changing. It's changed like three or four times. What's going on? That. Oh my God, that's so catchy. I look. I love those dubsteps. It's got dubstep for You hear that? There is like a... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. There's like a horror film score singular kind of soundtrack going on in the background that goes up the pitch goes up and then down i don't know if you get i'll try and point it out and try and listen that. oh my god this is gonna be stuck in my head for days Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Come on. Got to take that back. You see that little head movement? I can't do it. I'll break my neck. That, uh, we, we need a dance choreography video for this, please. That. I've got a huge smile on my face. Oh, and you're ending the song like how you started it. I like it. It's like one big monster. I'm a little monster. Oh my freaking god. That was stupendous. That I had a smile on my face the whole way through that track. That is that is permanently imprinted onto my brain already. That was so good. So good. We really need a dance choreography video for that because there was so much going on. It's really hard because you're trying to read the lyrics because they're not in English. You're trying to watch the girls but not pay too close attention because they're taking your mind off the subject and as to what's going on. Because K-pop puts so much effort and so much thought and so much artistry into their videos that you could do with watching this at like half speed about five times to catch everything and I'll probably go back and do that myself because 
That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a hell of a track. That's got to be one of the best K-pop songs I have ever heard. It, that wasn't K-pop. That was dubstep. Uh, that was dubstep R&B with some slick transitions, some serious 808 bass line and a really, really weird chorus where the, ba the, the bass dropped even lower and it was eerily catchy. I, d I, I can't put it into words. I cannot put it into words. I'm excited over that. that okay, right. I've got a dilemma here. My dilemma. I'm going to get some flight for this. I know I am. I'm going to get some shit for this. Right. That. Dave. Dave that wasn't Red Velvet. That was only two of the band members. They put them together as a duo. And oh my God, it's worked. I love how K-pop will allow them to do this. You would never see a band from anywhere like the UK or America do this where they'll allow just one band member or two band members to go off and do something on their own. Blackpink did it with Jenny, with Solo. These two have done it, Irene and Sergey did it and I was having trouble figuring out who was who because they looked so similar and so gorgeous and them all in black. Oh my god. Right, calm down. I'm getting way too excited for my age. <laughs> Look, I can appreciate the female form. I can appreciate the visuals, the music, the choreography and everything. I'm not being overtly sexual over these girls. I'm just saying as a package, that was just brilliant. That was just... Anyway, what I was saying, I've gone off track. That, in effect, is like a comeback for them, but just two of them. I think that may have had more of an impact on me and stuck in my head for various more reasons than what Blackpink has just done. I think that may have topped Blackpink's comeback for me, personally. My opinion. Not taking anything away from Blackpink because I love Blackpink. I love all four of them. But that was something else. There was something about that that just pressed all my buttons at once. <laughs> am I allowed to say G-Spot? I don't know what I'm allowed to say. It's like someone just hit... Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm blown away by that. I am absolutely blown away by that. That's going on the playlist straight away I know I keep saying it but I tell you when I'm going to do it if I don't mention it's going on a playlist it's because I thought it was average if you hear me say it it's because the minute I finish watching this video and recording this video that's probably right where I will go next and we'll probably go and get that um, I've already given the video a thumbs up I'll have to leave a comment on that because that was so so good let me know what you think. Do you, do you think that was really good? And if anyone can explain to me what that really weird sound was, I'm interested. There was two sort of vibes to it. There was a really weird creepy scene with her, with like a half dead teddy bear in her arm, in her hand. It had like a, a horror sound. You know, like when you've got like the bad guy or the killer coming after you and there's a girl running away in the dark. That sort of... I don't know, it's like, a, it's like a scraped violin that's coming down in pitch. That was through the background on each chorus at the end. and oh, Sorry, on each verse at the end. And then that chorus, when it drops down, the beat changes like three or four times. They have put so much work and so much effort into that. I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> Damn. That was good. I haven't done Red Velvet since I did their Psycho, obviously, because I think that was the last one they did. I am going to have to keep updated with this band because 
I would like to see them perform that live. I'm sure there's probably one on YouTube already since it released a week ago. I might have to have to look for a live version of that and we'll go through it again. Because I would like to hear that live. The two girls harmonizing was spot on. Perfect. They were, they, their two voices synced seamlessly in that. And I really enjoyed the transitions that they put at the end with the, the dubs step wobbles I don't know what else you call them I call them wobbles anyway right guys I think I'm done I need to shut up talking that was monster and I feel like it brought a little monster out in me I need to go back through the lyrics because I, I didn't get a chance to read every single one of them because I was concentrating on so much else going on at the same time don't forget this video will be available over on patreon full length without me keep pausing it and interrupting it if you want to see it over there the link will be in the description as always and if you're not following the channel guys i would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it or if you don't agree with me and i'm gonna get some serious trouble for what i said give it a thumbs down i'm open to criticism i don't mind either way i will be back with another k-pop video very soon if I can find a live version of that in the next week or two, I'll be back with that for sure. So until then, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. In, um, I didn't go too overboard because I got really excited. You don't get excited an awful lot about things when you get to my age. But that put a huge smile on my face. Right, I'm done. I'll see you for the next one. Take care. Don't